All right, this is just a quick tutorial on how uh, I edit vertical content in Final Cut Pro and then publish it to Instagram stories. First, of course, you wanna open up Final Cut Pro. I've got some clips already in here that I've shot vertically. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, file, new project. The nice thing about Final Cut Pro is that I can have custom resolution settings in my projects. So I wanna switch it to custom. And I know that Instagram stories are 1080 by 1920 resolution, which is a vertical frame. Uh, my frame rate is where I want it to be, 2398. I'll call this project test. So now I have a project and as you can see, uh, I've got a vertical frame. But when I import the footage into Final Cut, you know it's horizontal because that's the world we live in today. So if I wanted to drop in this 1920 by 1080 footage into a 1080 by 1920 uh, project, I just want to be able to drop it in there, turn it 90 degrees, and it fit perfectly. So if I just didn't do anything, and right out of the box, I drag this clip into my project, notice what it does. It takes that horizontal video and squeezes it down to a 1080 wide resolution. That's not good for me, because then when I rotate, 90 degrees, now I'm dealing with the smaller frame and I actually have to scale up. So now I'm gonna lose some quality. Let me just undo all of that. To avoid that constraint, I wanna switch the spatial conform over here in the video inspector to none. And what that's gonna do, as you see when I drop it in here, it drops in the entire video uh, into, let me show you if I click here, now you can see my video has not been resized. It has not been adjusted to fit the vertical frame. It's just dropped in there. And so now all I have to do is go into the transform uh, option in the video inspector, go to 90. And now I've got a perfect 1080 by 1920 frame shot traditionally at 1920 by 1080. But because I was holding the camera vertically, uh, it's a perfect fit. And so now, of course, now you can do whatever you want to do in Final Cut Pro. Um, edit, add titles, music. Options are endless. I'm not going to go through how to edit video because if you're watching this, you probably already know how to do that. So get creative, have fun. Um, and this, is, of course, is way too long. So I want to make sure I go to the 15 second mark. So now, Shift Z, um, I can see my full 15 second timeline. Nothing exciting here, but I want to show you the whole round trip from Final Cut to Instagram Stories. I need to get this file smaller so it could easily load on Instagram Stories. So I use Apple's compressor program. So I'm going to go send to compressor. The output that I use is something that I've just found to be a good file, good quality. Uh, H.264 for video podcasting is kind of where I start. I'll throw it on the desktop for now. I'm going to adjust these uh, default settings in this output to, uh, to give me a little bit better quality. Um, this is where you want to name it, so I'll call this test one. Under the video tab, I'm going to switch my frame size to go up to 3840 by 2160. And I can see my estimated file size. It's one thing I love about compressors, being able to see how big this file is going to be. It wasn't too long ago that Instagram stories had to be under one megabyte. Now it seems that that's gone away, which is awesome. So right now I keep them in between four and five megabytes if I can. And the way I do that, I want to encode for best quality. By adjusting the bitrate, I'm able to increase the file size, but of course it's also going to give me a little bit better quality. So I'll say somewhere in there, that 4.48 range um, looks good. And all I have to do now is just start the batch. It's gonna export it to my desktop. While that's doing that, I'm going to hide Final Cut Pro. Cool, so now that's done, I'm gonna quit out of Compressor, and I've got this wonderful vertical video of my daughter walking up the driveway. Just to see, make sure that frame size is what I want it to be, I'm gonna just go to the Info tab and Finder here, and I can see that it is 1080 by 1920, which is perfect. That quality looks good to me. And now what I'm going to do is right click on the file um, and share it to AirDrop so I can get it to my iPhone 
7 plus click on that so now I've got it on my phone and I'm going to hit accept I'm going to get out of the photo app I'm going to go to Instagram and go to my story I'm going to swipe down to reveal some pictures and you'll see the very first one on there is the video that we just got from airdrop and now I can then post this to my Instagram story just like that